Hello Leo and welcome to my channel Love and Wonders Tarot. This is your about last night reading where I take a look at your romantic situation and try to determine what's going on. Today I'm using my Good Tarot Tarot deck along with the This Might Hurt Tarot deck and as you can see I've already meditated, shuffled and pulled your cards. All of my cards are read in the upright position so let's get started Leo. Okay Leo this card represents the um, overall energy of your situation. These cards represent your person and I have an advice card here for you. So the overall energy of your situation today, Leo, is the messenger of fire. This card comes from the Good Tarot Tarot deck. This is about um, determination, determination for a new adventure. Okay, if you look at the, the woman on this card, um, she's bored. She's looking like, you know what, I'm going to get out there. My current situation is no longer serving me. I'm bored. I want out. I want some fun and excitement. So is that what's going on with you, Leo? Are you bored in your situation? Let's see what's going on. Okay, so the first two cards represent, you know, your person's thoughts and feelings about you and the connection. So um, they have the five of wands along with the nine of wands. So I feel like with these two cards, We'll talk about the nine first. I feel like your person is very frustrated. Your person works a lot. Um, this person has all of these, it looks like, you know, you could say these are bills, all these papers that say they're bills in front of them and they're frustrated. They're trying to figure out, you know, how am I gonna pay all these bills? So I feel like your person just works a lot and they're focused on, you know, taking care of things, all right? Um, and I feel like, you know, when you work hard, sometimes people come home and they don't have room for fun and excitement. So your person might just be a little tired or grumpy when they get home. And this is causing, you know, like petty arguments. So with this uh, five of wands, I think that these are just a little bickering and small arguments and, you know, be cautious because they can elevate into something worse. So I feel like that's what's going on right now. Your person, you and your person are, you know, not getting along that much. You're, I do feel like you are bored because your person works a lot. And then when they get home, they're kind of exhausted. They're not in the most romantic mood. And we see that here, if I can pick this up, oh my goodness, the King of Swords. We see that your person is not in the most romantic mood. The King of Swords is not a romantic person. This is a person who likes to talk. You know, it's more of a, you feel like your relationship is platonic right now, okay? Um, and another thing going on with your person is the Hierophant. This could mean so many different things, but I feel like this means your person is kind of boring. Your person is boring. The hair font is about conformity, about doing what society wants you to do, doing things by the book, you know, not trying to go outside of the lines or think outside of the lines. So that might be what's going on with your person. If you pair these two together, this is just like, if you're married, if you happen to be married to this person, this is like, ooh, a boring marriage with someone who's grumpy and always in a bad mood. Okay, if you're not married to this person, this just means your person is just straight laced and boring. And so this, these two cards represent your person's intentions uh, uh, toward you and the connection. So they're not gonna change their ways. This is how they are, okay? So let's look at the next two cards. These cards represent what's blocking this connection. What needs to happen for this connection to get better or move forward? You have the Page of Cups and the Six of Cups. So this is awesome. Okay, Leo, there is something that can be done to save this connection. If we look at this page, the page is innocent. This is new love. This represents new and exciting love. You know, this page has a crush. This page is fantasizing, you know, about this fish here. So this is, you know, something got you and this person together in the first place. And so I feel like at one point there was um, lots of fun and excitement and um, passion between you and your person. And so I think, feel like, you know, you need to renew that. You need to bring newness back into um, this connection. And another great card is the Six of Cups. So this is about reminiscing about the good old days. So you need to, you and your person need to get back to where you once were. Again, like I said, something got you together. There was this person, you know, must have been fun at one time. At one point, you two loved each other and, you know, felt very passionate about each other, went out on dates, wooed each other, 
you know, he bought you flowers, took you out, whatever. Um, and don't get caught up with or focus on the gender. This is just the energy, okay? So he or she could uh, apply here. So that's what needs to happen. You need to bring newness back into this connection. And that's for both you and your person because your person is too busy working, working, working and worried about money and worried about paying bills and stuff like that. All right, let's see what the advice card is for you. The advice card here is the hanged man. And I'm gonna go ahead and read what this means because I, I, I really love the um, meaning of this. And I think the advice will really resonate with you if I read it. All right, so the hanged man equals surrender. Okay, sacrifice and surrender are necessary at times like this. Nothing in life is free, nor does everything happen according to my timetable. So the, sometimes things don't happen as you plan them, okay? When this card appears, I'm reminded that a delay is in my best interest, that until all the elements are in place, I'm meant to surrender to the greater will for the highest good of all. Time for me to let go of my attachment to how I thought things had to be, very important. I am called to surrender and wait to see how things play out. So surrender, you wanna get out there, maybe you even threaten to leave. And this is telling you, very important, sit down where you are, try to make this connection work. Do what you need to do to make this connection work. The bottom of the deck for your person is a six of wands. This is about getting attention all eyes on this person okay this person does want to be victorious this person loves you but this is telling me that you need to pay more attention to this person that's all that's needed okay um, it's a wand so it's about passion and excitement bring that back into the connection the bottom of the deck for you let's see is the um, eight of air and this also comes from the good tarot tarot deck and this is um in that deck, uh, this is it, the, the definition is release, uh, release yourself from denial. Okay, um, you know, live up to, own up to what you did, you know, um, or what you can do to make this connection better. This is about releasing illusions, releasing fantasy. So, whatever you feel, if you feel the grass is greener on the other side. Um, it's not, you know, there's good people out there and there's horrible people out there. So the grass isn't always greener on the other side. So this bored person here on this card with her arms crossed, um, the, you know, this message is for you. It's for you, Leo. Okay. Release the illusion of what you feel, um, this connection should be or what's even out there in, out there in the real world. Try to make this person, yeah, your person is boring and, you know, they need to spice up you know, their love life. And this is on both you and your person. So uh, the, the message that I'm getting strongly is that, you know, do your part before you try to leave out the situation and go elsewhere, okay? Um, you know, try to make what you have work because it can get better. Do whatever you did in the past. Bring that, that excitement back into the connection. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop. We'll leave it there. So good luck with the situation. I hope this works out for you. I do wish you the best of luck. Thank you for stopping by and watching my video and have a wonderful day.